Did you hear about the rumor that the Bosch X5 motor is going to get a power and torque upgrade? Well, I'm going to talk about that and two other pieces of e-bike powertrain news in this edition of EMTBR News. What's up, everyone? FC here from EMTBR, and I don't have a lot of news, not a lot of bad news to relate to you guys. We're all headed to Sea Otter and see what's going on over there, but I feel like I got to relay this rumor and news to you guys because at least 10 people have told me about this over and over again. You know about the Bosch upgrade, you know about the Bosch upgrade. So uh, Bosch did not tell me this information, so I am no under no embargo. Uh, you know, if this is just what talking to people, product managers, as well as consumers that are, you know, very, very much in the know. And I can now relate. I have now confidence to tell you guys that it's going to happen. It's going to happen. What's going to happen is the Bosch CX-5 motor is going to get a torque upgrade from 85 newton meters to 100 newton meters and it's going to happen in the may time frame some people told me may 1 some people have told me june 1 so it's going to happen fairly soon and it's a firmer upgrade and what's really cool about it is you don't have to buy a new motor if you have an existing cx5 motor uh, you can just get that firmer update and your and voila your existing bike has more power so Torque is the most important, 85 to 100 is very significant. How much percent of that? It's uh, about 17, 18%. And notice that it's right under the new specialized release at 101 uh, Newton meters, 100 and 101. Virtually identical, but they're just trying to one-up each other. The watts, I'm not sure about. The current wattage is about 540 watts, 550 watts, depending on who's measuring by anticipate this will bump it up to in the 600 range. So it's a significant upgrade. And uh, why do you want more torque? Do you want more torque? Because the, you know, it, it just, it's what moves you. Torque is what moves you, it what accelerates you. And, you know, it's a very good motor, very sensitive, very quick to respond. But, you know, a little more torque will get you up on that unexpected hill, you know, just a crank on the pedals without too much of a gear shift. So it's helpful and, um, you know, we'll see uh, uh, them be more competitive with the new specialized motor and the uh, obviously the DJI motor that should be coming to the US shores soon. So unfortunately, this is not going to be compatible with the CX-4 motors. So this is only a CX-5 update. And it does make sense because six months ago, the CX-5 came out and it didn't really do anything. What it did was it silenced the motor. Uh, on the rattle, it got rid of the rattle, and also it made it a little more quiet and more consistent on the climbing, you know, full full uh, revolution, full full power uh, operations. So it got quieter, but they did change the bolt pattern. I mean, why would you change the bolt pattern uh, of uh, made the old frames incompatible, the existing frames incompatible? Why would you change the bolt pattern if you're if that's all you're gonna do? So uh, everybody was suspecting something was gonna happen. So like I said. This is un, unconfirmed, and that's why I'm able to release the news to you guys. I, if, if they gave me the news, the boss did, they would give me an embargo, meaning I can't talk about it. And, uh, but here, I'm just talking about you know, what I hear from the industry, but I've heard it enough corroborating evidence that I feel confident that telling you guys that this is going to happen. What the dates are exactly, does it cost anything? I don't think it'll cost anything, but what the dates are, you know, it's going to be uh, early summer, uh, around May or June timeframe. All right, so groundbreaking news for sure. The other piece of news that I have for you guys is there's a new display. So all these bikes I have, you know, have these crazy uh, primitive five button display, five LED display, uh, so you know your, your battery level and it has no information. The CX-4 had information, had a nice screen. So what they have is the, that was the Kiox 300, I think they're, they're gonna have the Kiox 400. And I have pictures of it. Uh, it's floating around on ENTV forums, and it's very slick, very nice beveling. It's going to be integrated. It won't be this bump right here. Uh, and it's going to have a few buttons. It's going to have an ambient light sensor. It's going to have a USB-C uh, charger. I think you need to charge it every once in a while. So it's going to be a, a very slick little unit. The old one was $250 on retail. So I anticipate this one will be $250, maybe $300. So very cool. And if you have... A, you, you see these adapter plates on these uh, five LED display. If you have one of those, you can just take out the adapter plate, pop it right in. 
So pretty darn cool. You might not have to buy a new bike if you have a, a CX-5 and a big hole on your top tube. And the last piece of news I'll tell you guys about is if you don't have any of these, you have a CX-4 or you know, a CX-5 without that uh, big hole, there's a display that you can purchase today called the Purion, Purion 400. And what it is, it's a handlebar display similar to Shishimano style display. So it's un unobtrusive, it's right near the stem and the handlebar, and it has a lot of information, a lot more than what Shimano has. So it'll get you going 100%, the, uh, the level one to 100% that you want that granularity so you know your rate of use. Uh, and you have, when you put an extender battery, like this one, blink. Uh, right now, I don't know whether it's connected or not. You know, it's like, it's, nobody tells me, but with this display, with that Purion, it's, it shows me two battery uh, uh, icons and it, I believe it shows me the level of those guys so pretty darn cool so three interesting units uh, or, or products from Bosch uh, so it's gonna make them it's gonna make the most popular uh, uh, motor system today more competitive with uh, what's out there and what's about to come out all right thanks a ton everybody